you can now make games on mobile using gpark gpark has a feature on their app called build mode where you can create custom games and environments for other people to play also you don't even need to know how to code to build these games so let's just, let's just get into it all right so here i am i'm in the gpark editor so i wanted to make you know some type of like obby so i was thinking of you know the game like only up or like 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 games like that where you know you give the player a challenge so let's go ahead and do that so when only up i was gonna kind of recreate that a little bit so i could just use all of the like items that they give me okay this looks um decent i just got this mod off the uh the community mod thingies i use this as like my lobby kind of yeah, i don't i'm not usually on like on my phone and stuff so this is kind of like new to me you know what i mean i'm used to keyboard and mouse you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyways i just started grabbing stuff from like the inventory menu thing i just started building it up just taking random things tilting them just a normal a little you know parkour thingy oh that's cool so if you go into the settings i didn't even see this but if you go to edit you could set it to advanced you'd add like npcs and stuff Bro, I can have like a go-kart or like a jeep that people can drive around. I don't even know if that'll work. I'll just put one in here because why not? Oh, that makes it actually a lot better. Okay. So if you don't want to see your character, I you could edit, change the edit view to global view. I put down that jeep. I want to see if I can drive it. Oh, no way. Dude. Let's go. Dude, I should have made like a racing game. What? Someone make a racing game right now. This car's fire. Oh, it's slippery. Okay, so I figured out that slopes are very slippery in this game. So I'm just going to get rid of all of the extreme slopes that I have. Dude, I suck at parkour. What? Hold on. Yep, GG's. Wait, I have an, I actually have an incredible idea. Incredulous. Okay, here's my idea. I'll give them a, I'll give them like a car and they have to like drive it along like some type of, type of track or something. So we're going to make this big enough for a car. We'll give them another Jeep. We'll make it red. I keep on actually misclicking my axis. So it keeps on making me turn up. Turn up. I'm going to take one of these base plates and then we'll just make it look like pavement or something. Okay. So we have like this, a light gray square that's supposed to be the road. Well, that's actually kind of good. Okay. What if I just gave him like a finish line and then just like just drove off the side of the map basic character sci-fi theme i love sci-fi give me a sci-fi character who's this guy dude i can just have him dancing here <laughs> oh wait oh hey hey wait what dude what the heck don't hurt him now so now he's just gonna be sitting there dancing let's see let's see if this is even like doable all right let's get to the top Okay, I saw a counter, so if in logic, so I want to see, so also add in some text here, total attempts, okay, and then I want to make it to where that can tick up, so every time someone like hops onto this first counter, it'll like make it go up one, trigger area, so we'll take this, and then we'll put it at the beginning so I'll put this like right up here. What actually works? Okay. So yeah, you can do more than just like placing stuff down. So whenever I hit this, it increments the uh, the total attempts counter right there. And then I think whenever I hit the thousand, it just stops. So hopefully it doesn't reach a thousand. Also to do that, all I did was, okay, so in the trigger area, on the event area, event on an area entry, you just have to add the event for the tick, name it right here. I just named it tick, and then you just create it by clicking the three dots. And then you just go into the counter, and then at trap properties, you say counter increment right there. You just put in the tick event. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Select cover. We'll do this. Enter name. Um, obby to race. To, to, to obby to race car perfect name right there oh tag i need a tag okay my bad parkour there it is hi game you can enter it now all right so here's the game i updated it a little bit i added some walls around the edge of the map so that i guess it's a little bit more obvious that you need to go up this 
uh, tower thingy. I added a total winds counter. It's broken right now, but I'll, I'll fix it. I also have these jumps over here that if you don't, if you hit these, then you'll get reset back to the spawn. I use the destruction brick to make those, which was pretty easy to do. I kind of just like put it in there and it was already finished. So that's nice. And then at the end, it just says jump down to win. So you'll jump down. It hits a hitbox, and then once you land, it will increment the win. Check out G Park with the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, check out G Park, and I'll see you guys in the next video.